Hey Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are looking at Snake Armor Skeletor, poisoned with power. Uh, this is from the new Masters of the Universe Origins. Uh, the Snake Men have invaded the line and Skeletor is here to battle them. Uh, back of the box. Fortunately, this is not the international carding. Uh, this time, so we have our nice verbiage up here. Skeletor's cursed snake armor makes him stronger, but mind-controlled by King Hiss. Okay, I learned something today. I was thinking snake armor Skeletor was going to be to battle King Hiss, but this is, he is uh, subservient to King Hiss. How upsetting that must be for Skeletor. Okay, so that's a much better story beat, to tell you the truth. Uh, fit fanged blade into hand, twist into powerful battle positions. And you've got the cross cell on the back here. I'm getting to the point now where I'm not reviewing everything. Well, I don't think I've ever reviewed everything in this line. Uh, but if it's like a repaint, like this Roboto, I'm, I'm not, I got him. I'm collecting pretty much everything in the line. But I'm not going to review all the repaints and stuff. Uh, but I do have a tongue lash or coming up. Uh, Hypno. I've got Hypno. I just didn't review him because I was like, ah, I don't know how exciting he is. Uh, so anyway, beautiful packaging. Uh, we still have the nice glossy Masters and Masters of the Universe. Well, the, of the Universe is also glossy. Uh, and you get the Snake Men livery up at the top. And then the Snake Men logo and the scaling on the bubble, which is a beautiful touch. I love that. Uh, so let's open him up and see what we've got here. Uh, if you happened to watch the last origins reviews that i did you may remember that big bad toy store which is where this one came from uh sent me the international versions and and i approved it i you know i got an email at some point that said just wanted to let you know these are the international versions if you don't want that cancel now and you know my thinking was well i open everything anyway I don't really care if I get the international version. That's not a deal breaker for me. Not realizing that the international version would not have English language on it. So I didn't have the verbiage up here at the top. And the mini comic that came, well, not only the mini comic, uh, the, the international mini comics had no words in them. It was all just the pictures, which was very disappointing because I enjoy those mini comics quite a bit. And these little things, were different as well. They didn't have any words on them. Uh, so I've got a whole run that does not match the rest of my Origins uh, pamphlets or whatever. Uh, okay, so... Oh, this is, he's kind of a fancy lad. So look at this. Uh, let's get the accessories out of the way here. We've got a completely new head on this guy, obviously. For his snake, his mind control. Look at this. Look at all this detail on this thing. The silver up on the top here. The eyes. The sculpt looks great. Uh, and then underneath, it's not a standard Skeletor hood. It's like part of this whole helmet deal. It's like a um, mechanical looking, armor looking type of thing. And then Skeletor's mug is kind of buried in the back under this Serpentor like uh, helmet. Looks pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know if you got... Okay. Can you see the little red dots in his eyes? I'm trying to reduce my glare. There you go. So I love that sculpt. It looks really good. Uh, and then he's also got fancier ankle portions. Tons of great sculpt there. And then his belt piece uh, also has a lot more going on. So this is a pretty pretty different Skeletor figure. And then, of course, he's got his chest piece with his massive shoulder pads going on. Very, very 80s look. I like... Okay, so look at the way the belt is sort of tied around the fangs here and then goes around in the back. Just great design. He looks awesome. Now, this is based on a figure from the 2002 line that I never had. Once they got into all of... I had some of the Skeletor and He-Man variants, but once they got into the Snake stuff, I really didn't buy the, the Skeletor and He-Man figures anymore. Uh, so these are... Oh. Listen. 
I feel like that ratcheting joint might be new. Uh, so these figures can be taken apart, combined in different ways, put back together. Uh, it's part of the fun of the line. And of course, articulation. They've got much more articulation than the original vintage toys, but retain that same sort of aesthetic. And if you want them in that squatty position, you can certainly make that happen. Uh, so knees, elbows, everything bends, rotates, all of that. Uh, the calf, the top of the calf, like it's all, it's great. It's all fantastic. Accessory wise, he has got a, a very ornate shield. Uh, not a lot of paint, but that's not what this line is all about. A great looking fanged skull on the front. Uh, very explodey, sharp looking. And they've got the clip on the back of oh, the clip and the handle. That handle is a great addition because that really keeps these shields in place looking how you want them to look. I love the fact that the head is completely separate from all of this. So you've got the full posability of an Origins head. Uh, and then finally, he's got his really wild looking sword here. Almost looks like a cricket bat, kind of. Just a very interesting design. I don't love the fact that the back is hollow. As a matter of fact, I kind of hate the fact that the back is hollow. Uh, but from the front, it looks really weird and cool. Let's see how well it fits in that hand. Fits in that hand. Oh, it's going to fit in the hand really nicely because of the ridged uh, handle there. So, you know, you pose the sword right, and it looks okay. And there you go. Snake Armor Skeletor under the control of King Hiss, which, like I said, is kind of more interesting than uh, he's just gotten some armor he thinks is cool to battle the Snake Men. Uh, I like it. He's a big, chunky figure. He looks very, very different from every other Skeletor. Nice work. Looks awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends about Needless Things. Tell your friends uh, about the dangers of King Hiss and Enchanted Armor. And until next time, I am Skeletor. Snakey Skeletor. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.